Hey, what's up? My name is Willie Chin. In this video, I'm going to be repairing the tweeter inside my IK Multimedia iLoud MTM. To my knowledge, I don't know if IK Multimedia sells replacement parts for this speaker. So I found this company in France that had the replacement. I guess it's a company that sells parts or they do repairs and they had the replacement tweeter. So I tried my luck and I bought one. So the good thing that happened for me was that the euro and the dollar is around the same price so this thing only cost me around fifty dollars including shipping and i got it pretty quick it, it came in like less than a week so i'll put a link in the description below for the site where i bought this to replace the tweeter in the iLoud mtm you have to replace the grill and everything because the tweeter is molded into the frame here are the tools you need to do the repair you only need a long phillips screwdriver the other tools are optional all right now for the fun part Let's get right into the repair. First and foremost, remove the leg if you have it attached. Now we have to remove this sticker so we can access the screw holes on the back so we can take this thing apart. It definitely has a strong adhesive on there. I'm using this plastic pry tool to get the sticker up. This is optional. You could definitely use whatever you have access to. And now once you could actually grab the sticker, it's not too difficult to peel off. And just take your time nice and easy removing it because we're going to have to put this back on after. I suggest not to remove the sticker completely. You just need to pull it enough to access all the screws. This way when we're putting it back on, all the holes are going to line up easily. Next, you're going to need a fairly long Phillips screwdriver. That way you can remove the 8 screws that are holding it together. After the screws are removed, it will open up very easily. I'm going to unscrew the power LED board, unscrew the speakers. When removing the woofers, they have a little adhesive on there. So just slightly rock it and pull it out. You don't want to damage it. Do the same to the other speaker. Also a quick side note, it's up to you if you want to disconnect the wires first. Or you can do what I did and just leave the wires connected to the woofer. And disconnect the wires connected to the tweeter. Now we are just going to transfer everything from the old grill to the new grill. After everything is screwed in, it's time to reassemble. Just line up your grill, hold it in place, flip it around. Reinsert the screws. Now just reapply the sticker. Try to line it up as best you can. It's gonna have a few wrinkles and attach your legs. Also, when I do things like this, I normally test it before I add all the screws in. But I would say what's the worst that could happen? It was broken before I started. And worst case scenario, the tweeter is still not working. All we have to do now is just plug it up and see if it's working. Well, that's it my name is Willie Chin speakers are up and running and sounding good my final thoughts this is a super simple job all you really need is a screwdriver you know what I'm saying and everything else is plug and play you don't need a soldering iron it's pretty simple you know I don't know why IK Multimedia is not making replacement parts for this although this was a super simple repair IK Multimedia did not really design this for you to replace parts on it so it's up to you repair at your own risk I would say this DIY fix is super easy and you can do it too. Well, that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you in your repairs. My name is Willie Chin. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Mod.